Well, good morning, America. This is Jim Bob coming to you on the Jim Bob Commentary Channel. Now, you like me on the Facebook and follow me on the Facebook and the Twitter. Well, I want to talk a little bit today about uh, solar and the wind powers. I've been uh, studying a little bit on it, and uh, I like it. Uh, I think uh, if we get some good politicians in there, uh, in uh, Washington, hell, that'll be a challenge, won't it? Anyhow, uh, we get some good laws passed. We could uh, get our off our dependency of the oil and uh, gas and all of that stuff. And um, of course, ain't never going to happen. They they done got Washington locked up. But anyway, just hear me out. I got some ideas. We'll run them by you and see what you think about them. I and you could. Uh, uh, comment back to me on my email on my faders or Facebook and Twitter channels uh, And so here's here we go. All right look the solar energy when you think about it uh, The Sun's been out there forever if the Sun weren't out there you'd be dead and uh, and God uh, or, or if you don't believe in God the evolutionary God uh, put it out there to sustain some life here on the earth and uh, Either one of them put it out there to be used So you got your solar The same thing goes for your wind. It's blowing around out there all the time and and people ain't doing nothing to use it now, I'm thinking we ought to start using it so uh, I'm an old feller. I told you all that, and uh, I don't know if I ever told you on my commentaries before, but I was uh, born and raised down there in West Palm Beach, Florida. So that there's got a lot of sun down there all the time. And I remember, as a young feller, up on the houses that was built back in the 20s and the 30s, they had uh, hot water solar heaters on the houses way back in them days. You see, you don't see none of them on the house nowadays, but back then they did. So it ain't nothing new, see. So here's here's my idea. Uh, what you do, uh, you get to Washington to, to, well, hell, you ain't gonna get them to do it. But, but if they would do this, we could get cheap electric bills and everything. I mean cheap, cheap, cheap. You wouldn't have to pay nothing for it more than likely. Um, you see, what you might not ever think about, and I think about these things, is uh, the power company, the big old power company, got to build these big old power lines and keep the stuff up there running and they got to build big old power plants and stuff like that, and then they got to keep them running to get your lights on and your computer on and to watch Jim Bob's commentary channel because it takes electricity. And uh, I looked one time and I read that on a typical power plant, coal burning power plant, stinking dirty ass coal, they run through there hundreds and thousands of train car loads a day every single day of burning it up up in the atmosphere well I ain't gonna get on that that's another commentary but anyhow so let's say everybody in America the government sent them over uh, solar panels to put up on their houses and uh, and if they put them up there um, in 10 years uh, they'd get them paid back or something like that you know so everybody got them solar panels so that'd help out now the wind thing you can't put that everywhere but the people that could put the wind things they could get some help there too and then they'd be selling the power back to the power company the power company wouldn't be burning no coal or, or fracking to get the gas and that fracking, that's another commentary. Them fracking people, they're messing the water up. They don't do it all the time, and I, I you know, but sometimes it does. And uh, and here's here's my big idea. 
Now I got the big idea. It's for the power company. Now the people that's already got all the money, I'm going to help you out too. Here's the deal. You got all them telephone poles running through the towns. And uh, up at the top of the pole, I noticed there ain't nothing on there. You got your wires running down below. There are wires running down below there. But on the very top of the pole, right up on the top, ain't nothing. Birds sit up there. Birds sit up there and take a crap, all that. Well, see, I, I want to take use of that space. On every one at the top of them poles, and you see this all over the place, you put a little solar panel. They got solar panels to turn stuff on and off and all that kind of stuff already. They already use them. So if you put a little solar panel up there, or if you didn't want to put a solar panel up there, you put your propeller up there, if you're in a windy area, and you start generating electricity right off the top of them telephone power poles. Well, isn't that a good idea I got? You can think about that. All them power poles that have a little propeller or a solar thing on them, making up electricity, and it wouldn't be hurting the environment in that one area a bit. Ain't that a great idea? I think we ought to be doing that. So uh, that's the that's the ideas I got for that solar and wind power, and uh, I sure hope that uh, you'll share your ideas with me on the on the Twitter and the Facebook. And uh, I'm gonna go back and start studying some more on some other stuff to talk about. So that's all for today. Jim Bob's out.